Okay, we'd like to call to order this March meeting of the Mount Carmel Area High School School Board. Uh, please rise for a pledge of allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence, please. Thank you. Donna, can we have a little time? <clears throat> Mr. Vallier. Mr. Barker. Present. Brett. Present. Mr. Gonzalo. Here. Mrs. Present. Mrs. LaCour. Absent. Mr. Muldowney. Here. Present virtually. Um, Here. Mr. Zach. Here. Uh, announcements? Just a few announcements, Mr. Gonzalo, on my end, if that's okay. I know our administration will get into some dates, probably in more detail in their reports, but just some important dates and the market periods coming up on the 23rd. Uh, report cards are going to be sent home on April, April 1st. And a reminder to our learning community that our Easter break starts on Tuesday, April 12th, and we are due to return on Tuesday, April 19th. Also, we reviewed last month, but I just want to highlight these important end of year dates. Again, Sunday, June 5th will be our graduation. For the second year in a row, we're going to have it at our Silver Bowl Stadium. Uh, we, our prom is back at MCA's gymnasium. We're scheduled on Friday, June 3rd. Our senior parade is scheduled for Thursday, June 2nd, with class night being June 1st, and baccalaureate is scheduled for Sunday, May 22nd. Also, a reminder to our learning community that Friday and Saturday, uh, the Adams, Adams family will be presenting in the Richard Byersman Auditorium. Again, we are excited to see uh, how hard our kids have been working. They did a private showing for our administration, our school board. They did awesome. We're so proud of, of how hard they've been working. And again, we're excited to see the show this coming Friday and Saturday. And I know our athletic department will hit on this, but on behalf of myself and our administration, we're so proud of our girls basketball team and their run uh, through the state playoff. A good luck to them tomorrow night at Shimoka. At this time, that's all I have, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Cheddar. Uh, recognition of Student Merit Award winners. Donna, I believe you have the first one. Mm -hmm. Anna Stout. Let me find it here. Okay. Anna. Malcormal is the Malcormal Area Board of Education Merit Award winner for February of 2022. It is a great pleasure to nominate sixth grader Anna Zell for the Merit Award. As her band director, you were nominated by Ms. that. As her band director, I have had the privilege of knowing Anna for the past three years. During this time, I have worked with her in various capacities, including privately, in ensembles, and on a personal level. Anna serves as a leader within our groups and does so by example. She is a delight to work with and is always very well-mannered and cooperative. Anna displays a high degree of integrity, responsibility, and ambition. She is a talented and dedicated young musician who always comes to class prepared. Anna also has a kind, friendly disposition and a refreshing sense of humor. Her classroom teachers agree that Anna is an excellent student. She is very self-motivated to do her best. She is conscientious and courteous to all of her classmates. She has excellent grades and studies hard, all while helping at her parents' restaurant. In addition to playing the flute in the elementary band, Anna enjoys cooking, going for walks, and interacting with others. Anna is the daughter of Tin Jin Zhao and Kuo Feng Zhang. She resides in Coltmont with her parents and sisters, Annie and Auntie. Okay. Um, so on behalf of Anna, on behalf of the Mount Carmel Area Board of Education, I would like to pre present you with the Merit Award for February 2022. What's your favorite instrument? What instrument do you play? Congratulations. 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 Uh, 
the high school uh, awardee is uh, Rachel Witkowski, and I'd like to do that myself. Thank you. Uh, the Mount Carmel Area Board of Education Merit Award winner for the month of February is 11th grader Rachel Witkowski. She was nominated for the Merit Award by her coach, Mrs. Niglio, who said, I am nominating Rachel Witkowski for the School Board Merit Award as I believe that she is truly deserving of this honor. In the classroom and on the playing field, Rachel demonstrates incredible qualities that make her an exceptional candidate for this award. I have known Rachel for quite some time, but I've recently gotten the chance to work more with her over the last two years as her coach and have watched as her selfless abilities are shown throughout our school district. As an athlete, Rachel is a dedicated individual who is always giving 110% in all that she does. Whether it be at a practice or a game, Rachel is continuously working on ways to improve her skills while constantly encouraging her teammates to do the same. She shows up ready and willing to put in the work that is needed in order to be successful and shows a great amount of leadership on and off the playing field. In the classroom, she is an excellent student, mentor, and natural leader that motivates all those around her. You can find her involved in numerous activities within our school district, excelling at each one with a positive attitude and smile on her face. She is always eager to provide help to anyone when needed and is willing to go the extra mile. She is without question such a bright spot in my days and I am lucky enough to get to coach her and watch as she is just beginning to make a difference in this world. I could not be more proud of the person she is becoming. Rachel is a member of the Mount Carmel Area Girls Varsity Basketball, Soccer, and Cheerleading teams. She is also involved in Future Teachers of America, Future Nurses of America, and MCA Live News Reporting. Rachel is Vice President of her class and a member of the National Honor Society. In her free time, she enjoys spending time with her family and friends and playing sports. Rachel is the daughter of Jeff and Karen Witkowski of Kaltmine. And may I just add myself that I'm glad, Rachel, you never watched any of your dad's films. <laughs> you would not pick up any bad habits and you played away you have. Rachel, congratulations. <laughs> say that I'm honored to receive this award and to be nominated. I just want to give a special thanks to Mrs. Niglio, obviously. She's gave me some pep talks and <laughs> got me through a lot of things, and she's just great. Same thing with Mrs. Reinhardt. Those are my motivators right there. My coaches, I, my days would not be possible without them. They push me academically, um, in sports, in any way I need them, and it, they're truly a blessing to me and the administration. Thank, Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Uh, at this point, you guys are free to go if you wish. You can stay and watch how a big business operates if you want. But other than that, you can go and you can get a little nap. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. And to the parents. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. PTA representative report. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get. Okay. Approval of minutes. A motion is needed to approve the minutes of the February 17th regular board meeting. Motion. Second. Aye. 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 Motion passes. Um, now the PTA representative report. Is that available? No? Okay. Recognition of guests desiring to speak to listed agenda items. Please state your name and address. Gary, do we have anybody online? No comments. None? All right. Um, administrative reports. Mr. Cheddar. Uh, nothing to do this time, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay. Principal report. Senior high. Um, yes, good evening. I just wanted to highlight a few activities that some of our teachers are doing with our students because I really think MCA is truly a place for everyone. There's something going on for everybody to be involved in. Um, Mr. Yarch and Mrs. Demansky just recently took a group of our students to the annual Bucknell Math Competition. That was yesterday. Um, and that really 
presents our students with an opportunity to solve complex math problems. Um, the U.S. Army was in yesterday and worked with Mrs. Watkins. They conducted phys ed classes, like a mini boot camp with our students, and uh, ending that with a tug of war. And I think all of our students really enjoyed that. And then Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Stankiewicz is taking a group of students to Bucknell University to take part in a model United Nations conference. And during that conference, they assigned each school a, a, a country um, to, put, to research and to present position papers on. So those students are Isabella Trujillo, Gabby McGinley, Chancellor Musser, Alexis O'Donnell, Michael Langton, Ava Holland Bush, Shetley Gonzalez, Abigail Nows, Olivia Velvey, and Avery Galkas. So Bloomberg University has also offered to have us come over there and their librarian helps the students research. So that's just, just a tad of information about some of the wonderful things that our staff members do with our students. That's all I have. Thank you, Mrs. Rano. It's good to know those things. Thank you very much. Uh, junior high. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Um, our PSSA dates are set. Our ELA testing will be April 26th, 27th, and 28th. Math will be May 2nd and 3rd, and science will be May 4th and 5th. Just a reminder, our TELUS students are required to come in the building for the testing. Um, our district is again offering PSSA tutoring, which will be every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. For each session a student attends, they get a free snack ticket at lunch, as well as a ticket for a grand prize drawing of $50 Walmart gift card. The schedule for that is all those Tuesdays are ELA, 7th grade with Mrs. Guffey, 8th grade with Mr. Rumble. Wednesday is math, 7th grade with Mr. Weichok, 8th grade with Mr. Marlowe. Thursday is science, 8th grade with Mr. Wagner. And then just a reminder, the end of the third marking period is Wednesday, March 23rd. And report cards will be posted on Friday, April 1st. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Dara. Elementary. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, there's a few things from the elementary tonight. Uh, we recently completed our severe weather drill in the elementary school. We continue to do it virtually for this year. Um, kindergarten registration is currently underway for the 22-23 school year. Parents may register students via the school website or call the principal's office for additional information or assistance. Um, a reminder that we are currently ac accepting applications for pre-K counts, a pre-K count program for the 22-23 school year. Interested families can access registration information via the school website or call the office. Report cards, as Mr. Garrett noted, um, elementary report cards will be posted in our student information system. Um, and also sent home on Friday, April 1st. Um, Mr. Dare and I coordinated on PSSA dates, so I won't repeat them. We'll be giving, administering the same um, dates and times in the elementary school as the junior high, and that in the elementary school for grades three through six. Kindergarten graduation is scheduled for Wednesday, May 25th at 6.30 p.m. in the Richard F. Schmidt Auditorium. Um, of course, as always, all board members are welcome to attend and, and present. Please just let um, myself or Mrs. Stepanowski know. And finally, congratulations to our Odyssey the Mind teams that have advanced to the next round of competition and are actively getting ready to go compete in the next round. That's all I have this evening. Thank you. Uh, special Education. Hello. Good evening. Um, just a couple of things from special education, um, similar to PSSAs or students that take the alternative assessment, that window um, has begun and it started March 14th and it goes through May 20th. Um, I'd also like to comment on a transition conference. So our juniors and seniors are um, invited to go to a transition conference. It is this month. I think I mentioned it before. It's at Susquehanna, Susquehanna University. So those students um, attending the conference, get to see the campus, um, the dining hall, and then they also go into breakout sessions. So some things that they um, learn about, for example, would be um, professionalism, budget your life, um, careers in Northumberland County, cyber offenses and social media, eating healthy on a budget, personal hygiene, addiction, banking, um, employer expectations, self-confidence and self-advocacy, Staying safe in the community, stress, and virtual interviewing techniques. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, maintenance, Mr. Pegley, are you out there? Uh, I'm going to be doing the oh, maintenance okay. report. Uh, 
have a couple things. <laughs> there are still some items that need to be finished with the renovation project. Hopefully this will be wrapped up by the end of the month. The new plow is on the pickup truck, so that really helped out with this last snowstorm. Our guys came in on Sunday to tend to snowstorm, so a big thank you to our staff. As soon as we are able to get on the baseball and softball field, we will be starting to get them ready for the season. We've already started tending to the stadium for track season. We'll be replenishing the long jump stand as well as stone surface for the shot put area as soon as we can. Thank you. And that is all I have. Thank you. Uh, athletic director's report. I have that, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Gonzalo. I have that. Good evening, everyone. Uh, there are a few signs that uh, spring is in the air uh, for the school district. Spring is in the air because Mr. Fegley's report just indicated we're getting ready our facilities for spring sports. Spring sports have started uh, practices. That includes our varsity girls and boys track teams, our JV and boys, JV and varsity boys baseball team and our co-op softball teams with uh, Lords Regional. Uh, we also, I will announce tonight that on April 1st, Friday, our stadium will be open for the public for walking again. So please get down there and uh, exercise out. I will do, uh, emphasize that when we have events, the Track will not be open for walking, so please check the calendar. Uh, when there is a track meet going on, it will not be open for public use. So please try to keep on top of that. So uh, again, uh, spring sports have started, but winter sports have not ended. As Mr. Uh, Cheddar has indicated, we're still in the winter sports season because our girls basketball team is in the Eastern Finals of the AA PIAA Championships. They will be playing at Shemokin area tomorrow night against Southern Columbia. That game's at six o'clock. Anybody needing tickets can go online at PIAA and a ticket uh, for the game. Again, there are no tickets sold at the door. If anybody needs help with that process, please call the Athletic office will help you through that. Please come out and support our Red Tornadoes tomorrow. They're one step away from going back to states again next week. And that game will be next Friday at the Hershey Center. So we look forward to that. We say good luck to them and good luck to our spring sports teams. And again, if you need any help with tickets, please call. We want to see a big response and everybody out to see our team. If you cannot make it, the game will be on the Black Diamond Sports Network on the radio. Please tune in. Again, come out and support the Red Tornadoes. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalo. Thank you, Mr. Sikavich. Um, under athletic items, uh, we need a motion to approve items one through six with a change in number one to, to read approve the purchase of 10 football helmets at a cost not to exceed $4,000. So we have a motion. Mr. Reno? Second. Second, Mr. Brecker. Mm -hmm. Mr. Vallier is absent. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brett? Absent. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mrs. James Lopez. Mrs. Latour? Absent. Mr. Muldowney? Yes. Motion. Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. Motion passes. Under financial items, a motion is needed to approve financial items one through four. May I have a motion? Motion. Motion, Mr. Brecker. Second. Second, Mr. Zach, on the question. Roll call. Mr. Brecker. Yes. Mr. Britt is absent. Mr. Gonzalo. Yes. Mrs. James Lopez. Mrs. Latour is absent. Mr. Muldowney. Yes. Mr. Reno. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Valier is absent. Motion passes. Uh, under committee reports, I believe we have a foundation report from Mr. Cheddar. Thank you, Mr. Cole. Just a quick update on the some foundation projects. Every spring time, our foundation would like just to give our community a quick update. First of all, our, our foundation meets uh, every other month, so our, our meeting is tonight after the board meeting. 
Uh, again, this is an opportunity just to give everyone uh, a quick update on some of the important projects going on. The COPPAS camp is on schedule for our seventh uh, camp. It was created back in 2017 with the partnership with the Mother Maria COPPAS Center, Bucknell University and the CSIU. It is a month long summer camp with a curriculum based on leadership skills, social skills, and an emphasis on getting our students involved with many extracurricular activities. Uh, the website can be found under the foundation umbrella on the school district main website. This is a $10,000 annual budget that's fully funded by donations and grants. And our COPPAS camp was just awarded a $2,500 grant through the Greater Susquehanna Valley United Way. Uh, great work by our administration doing a lot of the uh, back work and planning as with uh, our COPPAS. So again, more information, check out the school district website. Uh, the Tornado Relief Project created back in 2018. All proceeds go to the general upkeep of our Silver Bowl Stadium. To date, over 200 brick at Tornado Alley. We make brick orders every May. <coughs> Reminder to our community that you want to get those orders in by May 1st to guarantee your brick in there for the 2022 football season. To date, we have raised over $7,000. The Tornado Buddy Bags, this project was created back in 2017. Currently, we are sending home over 80 bags of food to, ch to children and families in need within our district. This project is funded by grant donations and it is, it is at no cost to the school district. There was a $30,000 annual budget. Many local community businesses and individuals take part in this very important program. Again, the Tornado Buddy Bags, check out the link that you see there on the screen for more information. And finally, the clothing drive that was created last spring, a major donation by the Park family in Mount Carmel was able to get this program off the ground. If there's any students and families that are needing dress code appropriate clothing items, uh, please check out the link there on the screen. All you need to do is fill out a Google Doc with specific sizes and information for some dress code. <laughs> and any community member that has interest in any of those uh, fundraisers that we just reviewed, we meet by monthly. Again, our committee is meeting shortly after our meeting tonight. Uh, so come on out to the district office and learn more about some of the great important projects going on at the Mount Carmel Area Education Teaching Foundation. And that is all I have, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Cheddar, and thank you for all of your work. It, you're involved in each one of those items and you do a ton of work and we appreciate it as well. Uh, under new business, we need a motion to approve new business items one through 15 as listed. Motion. Motion will down. Motion, Bob. Second. Second, Mr. Brecker. Roll call. Uh, Mr. Gonzalo. Yes. Mrs. James Montez. Mrs. Zipor is absent. Mr. Mulvaney. Yes. Mr. Reno? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Mr. Bellamy is absent. Mr. Brecker? Yes. And Mr. Hood is absent. Motion passes. Under personnel, a motion is needed to approve personnel items 1 through 12 as listed. Motion, uh, motion Mr. Reno? Second. Second, Mr. Zach? Roll call? Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brett is absent. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mrs. James Montez? Mrs. Atari is absent. Mr. Mulvaney? Yes. Mr. Reno? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Mr. Bowie is absent. Uh, at this time, are there any other public comments and or questions? <laughs> Gary, nothing? None at this time. Okay. Uh, we need a, a motion for adjournment. Motion. Motion, Mr. Brecker. Second. Second, Mr. Zach. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next meeting will be April 21st, 2022. Thank you all.